Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to turn an image like this into this. And in a process called data bending, using an application called Audacity. The first step to getting these effects is finding your images. You can use almost any still image, as long as it's like a JPEG or a PNG or something like that. This technique can technically be used on any file, but images work the best. The first thing you're going to want to do is to convert all of your image to BMP format or bitmap format. And this can be done very easily using this website called Online Convert. I'll put it in the description. You just drag the image in there. Oops. And start conversion. And download. As a side note, you want to use um, bigger images for this. All images will work for this, but I found that you can have the most interesting effects if you have more data, and that's just an inherent feature of bigger images, so try to shoot for bigger image sizes. So once you have these files, uh, the BMP files, you can just delete the other ones because you don't need them anymore. And now you're going to open up Audacity. Uh, Audacity is a free program that you can find on its website. I'll put that in the description too. Um, it's fairly easy to install and operate, so I'm not going to go over that. I already have it installed myself. And, oops. There we go. So once you have Audacity open, it should look like this. Uh, first step, go in here, import, and raw data. Now you want to make your way over to your files, wherever those are. Okay, so here are our files. I'm going to select this dog picture and open. And we're going to select an encoding right here, a law. You can also choose u law, but I just use a law as a preference. Um, there's no real difference between them. They'll yield the same results. And then everything else should be fine. And then just press import. So now this is the waveform the audio waveform that your picture has produced. This is going to sound really weird, but audio Audacity has basically taken your picture, converted it into raw data, then converted it into uh, a sound. What makes this data bending thing possible is the effects. Now in here, if you're an audio person, you probably know what uh, a bunch of these things mean in terms of audio in that context. Um, for example, uh, you probably applied a delay to something before. But um, if you don't know any, what any of these effects mean, you can just pick a random one and hope for the best. Um, so how you would apply the effect to your audio is you uh, make sure this little thing is selected right here. You click and hold. You always want to make sure with these things that um, you don't click and hold. You don't make a selection of the whole audio. You have to leave at least like a second of the audio over here on the left. Because if not, it'll mess up the header of the file, which will completely break the image and you won't be able to open it. So just select from one second onward, and you'll see this. And then select effect, and just pick a random one. Uh, I'm gonna go with delay. And you can mess around with these parameters a bit, and um, I wouldn't touch pitch and tempo much because that seems to like make the image look really weird and like not at all like what it's supposed to look like. Um, I'm just going to mess around here and change some stuff. And then press OK. And it's going to apply the effect. Um, it actually added up a, a bit more to the end, but that doesn't actually matter. Um, then we're going to go in here to Export Audio. And you're going to select Save as Type Other Compressed Files. Um, this is going to save it as an AIFF file but um, you can later convert this to an image. Um, you also want to make sure that the header is raw, headerless, and the encoding is a law. If you chose u law in the beginning, uh, then just choose that here. Whatever you chose in the beginning, you have to choose the same thing here. And just save that file. So now that you have that file, you should see it right here. It's being recognized as iTunes as an audio file, but we know that it's not really an audio file. So what you can do here is you can go down to rename and change the extension to BMP. 
It's gonna give you a warning for this, but no matter. It's not gonna become unusable. Yes. And, oh, they're gonna be named the same thing, but whatever. Um, all right, here we go. Now, look at this. We have our multiple dog image uh, made purely using data pending. So this is a good example of what kind of images that this technique can make. Uh, really weird glitchy stuff that you wouldn't really be able to make unless you were using some sort of high processing image program. Now I'm going to do this again. So the easiest way to do this is just to go up here and click new. It'll create a new instance of Audacity. Close the other one, you don't really need it. You don't have to save it either. Um, and you want to import your new image into it using the technique I showed you last time. Import raw data. And now we're going to choose this space landscape. Well, not landscape, it's a space game. Um, and we're gonna use the encoding system of ULA and just import. Now, you're going to add an effect. Um, just add any random one that you want. I'm gonna try reverb this time. And just mess around with the parameters a bit. And press, oh, oops. I forgot about my own thing. Um, you wanna leave like a second of audio. And there we go. Now we're going to click Reverb, and OK. Oh my god, that's a loud file. Um, and then you're going to export audio, and I'm going to save it. I'm just going to add a D right here. And same thing as last time, raw headerless and a law or u law, depending on what you did, and other uncompressed files. And there it is. Now we can rename this and change the file extension, and it's a BMP. And this is what you get. Um, this one's sort of ugly, but you can definitely get more um, interesting results that are appealing to the eye, but um, it's basically just a um, shot in the dark, really. And what about that last one? about we apply a fade out to this one. As a reminder, um, you can also apply multiple effects to these files, or even like um, if you know a little bit more about Audacity, you can make a selection and control I. And then you can use this tool to just completely move things around in the file and make like different sections go in different places. So this is actually going to change the image a fair bit now that I've done this. You can do that chopping technique as many times as you want or even apply more effects. Why don't we do that? Um, I'll apply... What about... Hmm... A phaser. And let's see how that turns out. Let's export that. Press files, raw headerless, a law, and save. And here we go. Oops, I forgot to change the file name, but oh boy, here we go. So this one changed a lot since I had all those effects applied and I moved the clips around a bit. You can kind of see the remnants of the original image and how this section is just up here and it looks nothing like this section because I, I moved those sections around as clips. And um, it basically just looks like a video game glitch now, but it's kind of cool. We can definitely get some more, um, like I said, uh, appealing to EI techniques and everything, but uh, this is just a random thing, so I had no idea how it was going to come out, but it looks pretty interesting anyways. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you can have fun using this technique on your own. Uh, thank you for watching. If you really like this video, please give it a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this. Thank you so much for watching.